Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It started me back over there like before, but that's okay. <laughs> I would definitely like to play you in a match there. <laughs> oh, come on. A fluke at 16 under par. <laughs> Just <laughs> All right, so par four. You know the dealio. I am gonna probably birdie this <laughs> in every hole after that. <laughs> so, sadly, she's going to eat her words pretty quickly. <laughs> well, maybe it's not so sad for me, but it's sad for her. Alright, so what she got? What she got? She's aiming for about the same spot that I did, but... Uh, yeah, I, I think she should have used topspin on that to get it past the bump. Yeah, oh, no, it went up, okay. Because <laughs> when it's that steep, it just, you know, it kind of bounces back. But anyway, let's see what she's got on the shots. Hmm. Hmm, that's going to be short. <laughs> yeah, well, well, oh, 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 fairway, okay. Yeah, it is short. All right, let's see what I've got. That actually looks good as is. And regular backspin. Because all I want to do is just stop when it hits the green after one bounce. You know this drill. And voila. <laughs> yeah, um... Could she call that a fluke? <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> oh, I have too much fun picking fun at their dialogue. But anyway, there's a birdie. And... First victory against Azalea, hole two, and, 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 mm -hmm. I kind of want it to be around there, actually, so I'm going to try and plop it over there and keep it there with super backspin. So it's going to do one bounce, and it's going to go up top. There we go. Well, it's kind of, kind of sitting in a depression, so that's not the best lie in the fairway, but, eh, should be okay. I think hers is actually hit pretty well, actually. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, she definitely got me there on the drive, but can she get me on the approach? Probably not. I forgot to change the impact marker mode. And I'll let the wind push it onto the flat spots. That seems to be the ideal trajectory for... Oh, it's a little bit left of where I wanted it, but I don't think I'll have to move the cursor that much. Just a smidge over to the right. Mm, anyway, let's see what she's got. Oh, if mine went that far left, hers is probably going to go even further left. Well, actually, we're not gonna even going to be able to tell. Because, <laughs> yeah, she's kind of short. The trajectory was too low as a result of that. So you can't really tell. Putting off the green, eh, that's pretty good. But is it good enough to beat a birdie? No. And I just moved it a smidge to the right, as I said, and there we go. I slammed it in for birdie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but is it really fluky, Azalea? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to be just barely nicking this cactus because the wind is going to push it away from the cactus. So yeah, that's, I think that's my best way of aiming here, so it shouldn't touch the cactus whatsoever. And there we go. Oh, really? Interesting. Didn't quite make it. I thought there was more fairway over there. Well, well, hmm. So be it. So be it. I don't think she's going to be eagling at this rate anyway. Hmm, <laughs> that's a good shot though. 22 to pin, and yeah, I remember I couldn't reach this this hole in two anyway, and oh boy, that's a terrible impact marker for any club higher than a three iron, not like any wood, because that's got a bad line in the rough, and uh, yeah, I didn't really get very far. Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, she's got a cactus in her way, so best of luck to her. Oh, ooh, that looks like she got it up past it. It's not going to go on the green, so... In Mario Golf terms, we are on equal ground. And oh, I still I got another bad lie. Jeez, this is the most unlucky hole I've had yet. Mm. Right, let's see what I can do. 
I hit that one flush. And it's still not gonna make it. Yeah, the wind plus the uphillness, as I figured. But oh well. Let's see here. She's probably. Oh wow, that's. I was gonna say that was over hit, but no, that's actually really good. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Let's see if I can chip this in. Because <laughs> she's gonna make that putt, so I have nothing to lose here. Uh, I just want to be a nice low running pooper here. How's that for? That looks about right for the wind and my trajectory and stuff like that. Let's see what we get. Uh, not bad, but mm, not even better than hers. Yeah, that's okay. There we go. I'm still one up after this anyway. Unless she misses this putt, but I don't think she will. That's <laughs> just the tap in for Mario Golf. So she wins one! Woo! That's strange, isn't it? And I don't think I've lost one yet in singles matches. <laughs> ah, but don't worry about it. Difficulty of the game is getting harder. Although I was just getting really unlucky with the lies, but whatever! As I said, it doesn't really matter that much. And... we are off. And... Hmm. That's an awfully tight location. I probably shouldn't be going for it, but I will. <laughs> and I'm gonna go for that flat spot up there. You know the drill with me and that. Let's go for the flat spot around the pin. And you'll be able to make your putts. Oh, uh, no, I hit the rough. Poopers. Eh, well, low running shots for hopefully a win. Well, hopefully a birdie, I should say. And... Oh, I moved it a little too much to the left. That's kind of surprising considering the win. Mm, she might get another one up on me. Mm, not quite. See, so, yeah, they're not quite that proficient on longer putts. So I wasn't too concerned about the, um, getting close to make sure I get a birdie or anything like that, especially with such a hard pin location. But still, you know, it's you know I'm always going for birdies. <laughs> All right, Azalea, you're still up because you won that one hole, and thus that means every hole until I win again, you are up. Or well, you could win again too, I suppose, but not that likely. <laughs> Um, should I go for that tiny smidge of fairway again, just, just for the fun of it? <laughs> I think I should, because that was kind of silly. And hold your position with super packed spin. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not gonna go in the right uh, the right area because I missed hit on the marker, but that's all right. <laughs> just let the try it again. I don't really care if I end up at tide or anything like that, because, well. You could pretty much guess how this match is gonna go, but <laughs> let's see. It looks like she's on. Oh no, it didn't quite bounce up. That's all right. I like about there. I think. Oh, I'm a little bit off there, so it's gonna go right in my target, which probably means the rough. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. I took a risk on the drive, and I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> but that was mostly just for fun shot anyway. Gotta have those every so often. Unless you're going for like a super, super low score or something. Well, actually, maybe not. Because if you're going for a super, super low score, you've got to take the maximum amount, I mean, the uh, minimum amount of strokes, which means the mass maximum amount of risk in, in times that it is necessary. But anyway, I'm not going to move the cursor at all for this putt and it should go in. Yeah, that's what I thought. And there we go, hole six. The very low sloping green, so this is probably a birdie hole for both of us. Well, it's probably a birdie hole for me. <laughs> and uh, next level up, I should improve my impact area again, because it's getting a little bit on the tight side. Uh, you know, on the right side of the power gauge there. But I'm okay for now. Everything should be just fine. Even on mishits, as long as I don't get myself in rough. <laughs> the rough is the thing that messes with you the most when your impact area is smaller because it shrinks that and then if you miss hit on that you can duff shots or miss hit uh, really far offline and stuff like that but anyway I'm talking too much it's my shot 
Uh, how about there and just regular old backspin? That looks like it'll be just fine. Yeah, look at that. I didn't hit right in between all the way down there because it's, eh, it's kind of iffy. Because it's right between the two bumps. So I just aim for somewhere in front of the hole where it's flat. And then I'll just adjust a, a smidge for the break and stuff like that. Ooh, nice shot, Azalea. I don't think either of us will have to move the cursor, actually. But we'll see what she does. That looks good. I don't think she moved it at all. Yup! Nice! See? Difficulty of the game is indeed ramping up. Anyway, I'm gonna hit mine in, and off to the next. I'm still in the lead, so... No biggie. <laughs> and... And top spin, but she just hit on the side that probably means, well, I was going to say that probably means the rough on the left side, but no, 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 it's, just, it's okay. See, her impact area at the right side is smaller than mine, so her, her miss hits are going to be more punishing than my miss hits will be, because I've been focusing on keeping that stat at a relatively comfortable area, because everyone miss hits, as I said, so you might as well... Just take into account with that and try to minimize the effect of miss hits by keeping that stat good. And I'm slinking down in my seat again. What? That's... Uh, yeah, that's going in the rough. And, oh! Did you see that? Her ball bounced back after it hit the cactus. So that means she's got a cactus in her way. Uh, while she's trying to hit to the green. That's going to be practically impossible at such a uh, distance from it, so I think as long as I play it safe by keeping it in control with some super backspin on top of that tier, I will be a winner of this hole. Oh no, she's got a shot. Look at that. Maybe it just hit the arm of the cactus or something like that? Well, that's okay. As long as she doesn't chip it in, I've got this one. And power for her, birdie for me, unless I somehow miss on the power gauge, which I will not. <laughs> there we go. Five to win. Uh, mm, ah, that's a tough pin location. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to hit it into the ridge a little bit. Just a little bit, and hope for the best. Oh, I miss it! <laughs> That's gonna be in the rough. Or maybe even the sand. Well, we'll see. Oh, 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 oh! Ooh! That's not bad, actually. That's that's actually doable. I'm gonna have to figure out how I need to move the cursor, though, because that's a lot of break there. But, it's like, I'm right in the transition point between the, the lines, I mean, the arrows of where the sloping lines are, I should say. So... We'll see what I need to do once my cursor goes over it and I have a better visual of the shot, and she's not in very good position. Okay... I think I need to move it a smidge to the left, and I'll hit it at max. Well, as close to max as I could get. Got it! And there we go, that's another birdie! And not that terrible, I mean, you would've gotten the par. <laughs> Alright, so now that I know that I can get this green in two, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get under the ball in the impact marker mode like this because that'll increase the distance that I've got thanks to the wind being with me and let it fly and let's see how much more I can get out of this oh no well eh, that's okay I guess it's just I was hoping to be in the fairway for a second shot to the green because I know she can make the green in two like remember her her paired with Tiny that I said that they can make the green in two? Well, yeah, that's because they both have a pretty high drive distance. Tiny's is, of course, higher than hers because that's sort of his signature thing. But hers is nothing to scoff at, either. But anyway, I'll see what I can do on my next shot. I don't have to hit the green in two, as you can see, because she didn't. So I don't have to quote-unquote match her or anything like that, but it's just a thing of that I still would like to do... Whoa, whoa, oh, I got in the cactus there. <laughs> I'd still like to do something good just to guarantee my win. Uh, that's close. Let's see how it goes. Oh! Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> 
but I tried my best. But I'm in the fairway this time, so... Oh! Uh, how about... Oh! What am I seeing here? Like, what... Oh, I, I'm hitting... Yeah, like, I'm hitting a lower trajectory when I hit like that. So then when I go forward... And... No, wait, what if I go... <laughs> I'm just getting myself in all sorts of trouble here, messing around. Uh, oh, that looks a lot better, okay. So let's try and get on the green in 3Zs for real Zs this time. Not trying to do any 2Zs risk. Uh, no, not quite. Well, that was my own fault. <laughs> I should have just hit over to the side where she was because she has more green to work with than I did at that angle. But I don't know, I'm just kind of messing around. Not that big of a deal or anything like that. Uh, she's not going to make the green in 3 either, wow. That's honestly pretty surprising. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is possible for computers to do that, but that's such an easy trajectory and the wind just being straight at her, you know, there isn't really much to adjust. You just gotta hit a little harder. Anyway, I'm gonna try and chip this in. <laughs> of course. And, ooh, that's a swift one. But how swift is it? Not swift enough. <laughs> and, yeah, that's, that's a special way to make a birdie. Mm, how about I go zip around that cactus? And, nah, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just try and go up here. I was gonna say I could hit that patch of fairway just past the cactus, but that's maybe a little too risky. I'm taking a lot of risks this round, <laughs> even though I don't need to because I wasn't hitting like this in the tournament. I don't know. I'm just just trying to play the course differently, I guess. I just, you know I'm going to end up the victor at the end of this anyway, so, hey, why not? <laughs> eh, that's not good at all. Oh, jeez. Yeah, when it's that steep, your ball bounces back off it at that trajectory. Um, I, I don't know if I hit three wood there. I guess she got up to the fairway. And maybe bunker. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> well, it's good for me, but not good for her. Uh, that actually looks perfect right there, because the wind is going to take me a little bit over to the right. Well, so is my impact miss hit, but I, I just want to be a little bit to the right because of said flat area right of the hole, and then control it with my spin. But that's not exactly where I wanted to put it, as you've seen, because I missed it on the gauge, but that'll do, I think. So I don't have to move the cursor at all. Uh, she is not going to make the green in three. She's just really scrambling here. Uh, well... Eh. Mm. I guess she has a chance at chipping that in. And uh, not when she hits it like that. Um. What? The, the computer is. <laughs> the computer is really derping here. Okay, this is a more plausible shot, the three wood here. This is gonna. Yeah, it's gonna run out across the hill. Yeah. Oh, uh, and maybe I do have to move the cursor a smidge, but, you know. I. I. I can. Three putt to victory here, <laughs> so I shouldn't think about it too much. But yeah, I'm, I got it by moving it a smidge. There we go, and two to win. And let's see, you know my impact marker mode doodles, and super backspin. Control that sucker like you've never controlled it before. Uh, that looks pretty good, actually. Yeah. Oh, too much backspin. Maybe I should just use the regular backspin. But I figured five iron. You know, it's a little bit weaker in in loft than say if I were using a back seven iron with regular backspin or something. But eh, well, I, I should be able to make that putt probably. I'm not not saying it's 100%. Nothing is 100% in golf, but well, I act like it is. <laughs> Hmm, that's a pretty good putt from such a distance, especially with the the distance. But anyway, I'm going to see here, and ooh, it's a smidge to the left. Hit a little bit past the mark because it's uphillish, and it goes in. Yeah, that's what I figured. And then <laughs> it's one to go. Well, actually, it could be two holes to go at most, because remember dormies and stuff like that. And I'm not expecting to uh, lose a hole here, uh, generally. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it does happen every so often, but not that often. <laughs> mm, 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 that's kind of risky there. 
I, I don't. I think she's hitting right into the mound. Uh, although she hit top right on the marker, so maybe that's what she was going for. Only, a, but yeah, if she hits the mound, the thing about hitting a mound on the fly is that it, it makes your shot, your shots landing a whole lot more unpredictable. And yeah, if you don't hit it in just the right spot, it's just gonna bounce wherever it wants to bounce because mounds are like hitting a ball on top of a ball. It's kind of like um. Uh, what's what's that name in, in Super Monkey Ball? Cylinders, in a way, yeah. When you are trying to do that jump across the center, and you you try and hit your landing, and it just if you, if you're not right in the center, you bounce off to the side. <laughs> it's a Super Monkey Ball Two Super Special Secret Extra Stage. What did why did she cut back on the power there? Is it downhill slightly? I I guess it is because. The, the short putt is only supposed to go 30 feet, and that went over. I, I don't know how that was calculated, but okay, I'm not going to move my cursor at all. And this will make the hole into a dormy hole, which means if, we, if I tie, well, we tie, I win because there's not enough holes left. And let's give it a good rip, because it's a par 5. And she's probably going to be going for it in 2. And... Hmm. Oh, I didn't move the cursor all the way over to the to the right there, but it should be okay. I don't have to be super precise on a drive. I think it's just before that mound, or at least I hope it is, otherwise I'm gonna have an ultra-high trajectory, which is not gonna let me reach the green, but we'll see. I know I can press up on the impact marker mode to make it lower, but it doesn't affect it enough that it'll make a difference on such a shot. I mean, I could try it if, if need be, but I noticed that it just doesn't seem to do as much impact as if, it, if you were to say change clubs instead of changing the impact marker. You know, it's not like in a pro shot where you're, where you're purposefully hitting high and it helps you to hit it soft. Ooh, hello there, opportunity for two. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, sh oh, I, I didn't admit change the impact marker. Well, it should be okay, actually. Because, yeah, I got that higher trajectory anyway. So, yeah, it's gonna be just fine. Oh, I actually just barely got in the rough there. Or maybe I could do that putting thing that I explained that I failed at. Oh, no, no, you're hitting into the cactus! The, hmm. Uh, 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 maybe I won't even need to. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I'll try the putting thing because I don't think she's going to make this. Uh, it's very rare that computers chip stuff in. That's only for me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm going to try the chip in. And... It's gonna hit it pretty hard because I think it just went barely in. Oh, yep, see, that there it goes. <laughs> and that means victory is mine. Ah, oh, not that terrible. You did all right. You got one point on me. That is more than other computers up to this point can say they've done in singles. <laughs> and there we go. Seven up victory. And 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 and. Yeah, I think I'm gonna really improve that impact area that I was talking about, so I'm gonna do a double level up here, and I might as well just keep holding the button to speed things along. See how, see how weak my impact and control got there? Because I've been upping the other stats, so yeah, I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna keep that straight. <laughs> there we go! And of course, beating character and match, you got the unlocks. And singles match, the legend. Legend versus legend. Well, okay, my character isn't a legend yet, but she will be! <laughs> and there we go. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Now, do you admit that it's not a fluke? <laughs> well, it's, okay, she did admit that it's not a fluke. But anyway, I'm gonna end off the part here, because that appears to be it. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I, well, do some stuff. Hmm, what could I be doing? Who knows? Hmm? <laughs>